On today's episode, nuclear fusion moves closer to commercial power production. Today's episode is brought to you by Engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on Engineering.com TV today. Practical commercial nuclear fusion power has been the holy grail of the power industry for decades for a simple reason. It promises essentially unlimited electric power without the safety and nuclear waste issues of a conventional nuclear fission. Now, it powers the sun, but harnessing that power has been a technical challenge which has kept nuclear fusion 20 years in the future for the last 60 years. There is progress, however, with several firms proposing commercialization of several different approaches to the problem. One is California-based Longview Fusion Energy Systems, who proposed to commercialize laser inertial confinement technology with a pilot plant online in the 2030s. Now, delivery of a commercial power plant in less than a decade is lightning fast by nuclear industry standards, and the company hopes to leverage a historic December 2022 breakthrough in fusion energy gain achieved at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory's National Ignition Facility. The history was made when the National Ignition Facility achieved target gain, producing more energy than the amount of laser energy delivered to the fusion target. 3.15 megajoules of energy were produced from laser energy imparted on the fuel of 2.05 megajoules. A net gain of 1.5 is significant, but the energy consumed by the laser systems is enormous, resulting in wall plug efficiency of under 10%. Now, the National Ignition Facility operation uses enormously complex laser systems with 192 beam lines and a parallel system of flash-pumped neodymium-doped phosphate glass lasers. A system of amplifiers, filters, and frequency converters are used to deliver 500 terawatts of primarily ultraviolet light to a tiny capsule or holorom of deuterium and tritium, timed to compress the fuel from all sides simultaneously. While the system delivers the necessary energy for research shots, commercial application of laser ignition technology will require a different way to deliver that energy. And Longview plans to use solid-state lasers to drastically improve wall plug efficiency and to allow multiple shots, several hundred per minute. The current NIF experimental system requires hours between shots while the laser equipment cools. The company states that it can deliver 1,000 to 1,600 megawatt fusion power plants, sufficient to drive the power needs of a small city, as well as furnishing process or space heat. But will it actually happen? In the commercial fusion space, Longview has signed a memorandum of understanding with civil engineering giant Floor to design and build a pilot plant with completion described by Longview as the early 2030s. The build time is consistent with other nuclear installations, but what makes this project unique is that construction of a power-producing pilot plant has been started before Longview reactor design has been tested. Now, this suggests a high degree of confidence in the success of the venture, and Longview is venture capital financed and led by Edward Moses, a former director of the National Ignition Facility. One of the less discussed initiatives at the NIF has been the use of AI in simulation in laser confinement fusion. And although speculative, it is possible that supercomputers and advanced simulation now allows the development of grid-ready laser ignition fusion power plants that go from the drawing board directly to pilot plant without a test reactor in between. If so, then the long view announcement may be as much a breakthrough in computer simulation as it is in nuclear fusion. We'll know in seven or eight years, which in the nuclear industry is lightning fast. Stay tuned. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by Engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit Engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.